Hello and welcome back to my August favourites. Um, I have got a serious case of itchy throat, snotty nose, so excuse the fact that I probably sound like a middle-aged man, but there we go, maybe something different for the video. I'm playing around with a lot of new releases, so there's a lot of products in this video. I think it's around the 15 mark, so grab yourself a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable, because it's going to be a long one. Let's address this. It's the Bed of Nails Acupressure Pillow. I've also got the mat, but the mat is like the size of me, so there's no way I'm going to be fitting that into the screen. Um, I saw this on VDM's channel, good old VDM, talking about her like we're good friends, and I thought I had to have this, and it's amazing. My boyfriend is absolutely terrified of it. It kind of hurts a little bit, but it's like in a nice way, and it's kind of warming when you sort of put your head on it for a little while. Basically, like acupuncture, but no puncturing, no needles, it's just the pressure of needles, and despite how spiky they are, they are quite sharp. When you put your entire weight on them, you really don't feel anything at all, and it's so, so good at getting rid of my tension in my neck, and getting rid of headaches, and just generally making me feel a whole lot better. I think they recommend that you use them for 10 to 20 minutes a day, um, I try to use them whenever I'm at my desk or I'm sat on the sofa just doing some work, this one anyway, and I think it's absolutely amazing, it's definitely helped my headaches, so I think they're around 20 something pounds for this. I know you can pick them up on Cult Beauty and they're not too expensive either, I mean it's something that you're going to get a lot of use out of. Ugh. <sighs> Next are my Zoeva Rose Gold brushes. They need a serious clean, but these are amazing. If you watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I am in love with the... I don't think it's here. It's like the Cream Cheek Blush brush from Zoeva. And it's the only one I ever owned, but it was my favourite brush from, like, ever. And I got sent these, and they're amazing. They also sent me some of the eye brushes. Obviously, they are stunning as a brush anyway, but... They are just as good as my other Zoeva brushes, or other Zoeva brush, um, and I just always use them. My favourite one has to be this one, which is just amazing for contouring. It just really does get in the hollows of your cheeks, and yeah, I just really, really love these brushes, so I get what the hype is all about. Oh, they're so, so soft as well, like, come here. Just give me a minute. Next is this Isla Brow Bar. Um, I basically love this for the wax. I'm not too keen on the other shades, but the wax is amazing. And Isla are always a brand that I thought just did um, like eyelashes and stuff, but they've recently come out with their brow collection. And it's amazing. I think this entire palette costs like £10, so it's a complete bargain. And yeah, it just gives me a nice colour payoff without having to cake my eyes in product. And it's really nice and sleek. Gets dirty as hell, like the NARS products, but I do really, really like it. An odd favourite that I've rediscovered is the La Roche-Posay Effaclade Duo Plus. Um, I don't really see much of a difference between this and the original Effaclade Duo, but I love this. I get like bumps on my chin and kind of around my temples, and this just gets rid of them completely. It does take a while to push everything out, so you can end up with worse skin before it gets better, but Generally, it is amazing and it's nice and mattifying as well, and I find it works really, really well as a primer. A product that I've had in my collection for a little while but never really used until this month is the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint SPF 20, and I might go as far to say that this is my favourite base of all time. It's luminizing, it's kind of like my Garnier BB Cream, but slightly more coverage, which is what I need right now because I've not been getting any sleep. And yeah, I just really, really love this stuff. It gives me really nice coverage, makes the skin look really, really dewy. Perfect colour match for me. I've got this in pearl and I just absolutely adore this stuff. I've got a perfume. This is the, oh God, it's all in French. Le Petit Fou Zazou Le Soft Perfume. And it's basically a stick of perfume. And I, I'm not even going to attempt to smell it for once because my nose is so blocked, but it's one of the nicest smells I think I've ever smelt. Um, it just smells really, really fresh, kind of like clean towels, but slightly sweeter, like a powdery fragrance, but slightly floral, and it's just amazing, and it really stays on your skin as well. Next is the Rodial SPF 15 Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Moisturiser. This stuff, again, smells good, obviously, and 
it's just so, so nice to really plump up your skin. Like, I swear I actually notice my skin looking a lot more plump when I use it, which I don't tend to find with a lot of moisturizers, even if they do contain hyaluronic acid. But this stuff is really, really good. Um, so it should be because it's kind of pricey, but I do really like it. I've tried to say the name of this before, but it just didn't go well. It's the Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Dr. Something for Origins, and this stuff is really, really good. It's like a nice light serum that just sinks into your skin without having to worry about it. I use it in the daytime, and I find my, my makeup just seems to go on a lot better than usual than when I'm not using a serum or when I'm using any other serum. Um, I usually tend to pair this with the moisturiser that goes with it, or the rhodial one, and my skin just feels amazing whenever I use it. I've also really been getting into dry brushing this month. This one's from Aromatherapy Associates, but obviously any dry brush will do. And I tend to get a lot of kind of red bumps on my legs, and my skin just tends to get a bit irritated. But this has basically sorted me out completely. I sometimes forget. I haven't been doing it much for the past few days, but when I do remember to do it, I just love it. And I'm one of those people that whenever I have an itch, I have to itch it. And if I do ever have an itch, I now go for this, because I think at least I'm kind of exfoliating my skin um, and getting the itch as well. So it's just really nice, really therapeutic. I do it normally before I have a shower. Sometimes I'll do it before I go to bed or even in the morning because it really wakes you up. But your skin just feels really tingly after you use it. And I just really, really like using it. This nail polish is basically everywhere on YouTube at the moment. It's the Maybelline Superstay 7 Gel Nail Color 7 Days Forever Strong. I don't know what it's called, but it's the shade in Uptown Blue. Um, Amelia Liana recommended this, not personally to me, but on her channel. And I was in Asda getting a few bits and pieces and I saw this and I thought, I'm spending enough money on food, I will pick up a nail polish as well. It's like £4.60 or something. Um, but it's amazing. I wouldn't say it stays for seven days, but I've, I'm one of those people that my nail polish kind of flakes off after about 24 hours. And this is three days, three or four days, so it's going quite well. I think I'll just sort of reapply a coat whenever it's kind of looking a bit shoddy. But I absolutely love this stuff, and I wish they had more colours, because I'm not really into the whole bright nails. But I will probably pick up a few more shades, and if, if they get any like blacks or neutrals, then I am going to be all over that. The next makeup product is from Kiko, and it's their Golden Game Sculpting Bronzer in number two, Precious Sienna. And this stuff is just amazing. It's about £14, I think, to buy, so a really nice, sort of cheap ish um, alternative to maybe, I don't know, the. I swear, Hourglass do something, but it's basically a really, really good contouring um, palette. And I've used this quite a lot, but it doesn't look like it. You've obviously got your um, bronzer shade, that's a nice matte bronzer. Got the medium shade, then it's slightly darker so you can really swirl your brush around. And then you've got your highlighter shade. And it's not too um, glittery or shiny or anything like that, but it's just like a nice natural sheen. And I really, really like that the actual pan of the bronzer is, you know, bigger than the highlighter. Because who actually uses that much highlighter? You know, I always hate it when I go through pans and there's like more highlighter than I need and barely any bronzer. So I really like what they've done there. Next is the Lanolips 101 ointment and this is the strawberry flavored one. I do have the original, but obviously I prefer the one that tastes good. A few weeks ago, I was finding that my lips were just really, really dry and nothing would sort them out. I had so many lip balms, they were cheap, they were expensive and nothing was really doing anything. But this has completely sorted them out. And as well, since I've been ill, my lips have been feeling a bit dry, I will just put this on and they'll instantly feel better. And they don't feel, it doesn't feel medicated because sometimes I hate putting like Carmex on or something because it just makes your lips feel like they're covered in this medicine stuff, but this just feels like a really, really nice lip balm and it's not too thick, even though it's a multi-purpose balm, it can go really, really nicely on your lips without feeling sticky or anything like that. I have it on at the moment purely because I am feeling so rough that I need as much moisture on my face as possible, so it does look nice and it's sort of like a semi-matte finish without looking like your lips are really, really dry, so I really, really like this and yeah. I have to say, this might have surpassed my Tangle Teaser. It's the wet brush and um, it's amazing. Basically, you just brush it through your hair as you would and it gets rid of every single tangle on your hair. And I have a lot at the moment. I don't know what it is about my hair, but it's just, it's horrendous. I get so many tangles right at the back of my neck and this just gets rid of them. My Tangle Teaser gets rid of them as well, but it's a little less uh, comfortable than the wet brush and it's a bit more annoying because obviously the tangle teaser doesn't have a handle so your hands kind of feel awkward when you're brushing your hair but this is just amazing and 
I understand why everyone is so in love with them and I'm so so sorry to my Tangle teaser but it's kind of taken a back seat since finding this. And finally is the Niels Yard Wild Rose Beauty Balm. This is a 10th anniversary edition one so it's got the nice pretty packaging but this stuff is incredible. I mean we all know I love a good cleansing balm but this is just by far my favourite. I've really been using it when I've been feeling a bit crap in the evenings. It's nice and relaxing because of the rose and it's not too thick um, during application so it is a really solid balm but when you sort of warm it up between your fingers, it glides on like an oil, takes off all of your makeup, and then you rub it off and your face still feels moisturised. And it doesn't feel moisturised in a sense that it feels sticky or oily, it literally does just feel a lot plumper. So I used this last night when I was feeling a bit crap. Um, I massaged it all over my face, left my eyes to last, and I left it on for about a quarter of an hour, just sitting on my skin and my skin just felt even more plump and it really did feel good because obviously this isn't just a cleansing balm, it's just a standard balm and I think you can use this as a mask or something so I just tried it when I was using it as my cleanser and it's so so nice so I might give it a go tonight I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze Anyway, I'm about to go and have a massive sneezing fit I think it's time for a good old nap and a cup of tea Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it in fact just give me a thumbs up I mean I'm soldiering on while having this horrendous flu so please show me some love. Please subscribe to my videos if you want to see more of me. I've actually started doing um, a weekly vlog as well so you can see the not so crazy happenings of my everyday life. I hope you enjoy watching and I will see you in the next one.